This is the Cato Amfleet 1 set A and set B, as well as this Amtrak Viewer Liner 2 baggage car. I'm going to start with the baggage car and then we'll do the A set, then the B set. There isn't really that much to say when it comes to these four Amfleet coaches. I've already reviewed both the cafe car, which should be somewhere in here, and these Amfleet ones. I'll put a link just about right there. So for this video, in order to keep things short, I'll just review the detail and the modeling on this Viewer Liner 2 baggage car. Starting off right here on the side, we have this number here and baggage which indicates that this is indeed a baggage car. Then right here we have these two doors and two more over here. Right in the middle we have this little logo which I really like. It says Amtrak America. I think that's pretty cool. Then alongside we have this corrugated metal as well as this flatter metal with a little, oops, with a little line right in the middle. One thing I noticed is on these doors there are these warning labels which I can't say I've noticed in person, but I'll put a photo up somewhere that shows these in real life. Then on the bottom of the car, we see these trucks, which kind of remind me of older high speed trucks from the 40s and 50s. I really like these and also the color of them. I can't say much for the detail on the other side, given that as far as I can tell, it is the exact same. I feel like that was enough shenanigans about the details on this car. Let's go run some trains. Well, I was trying to open this Amfleet 1 cafe car. It appears the something truck has fallen off, so that's not too good. So this one will have to stay out on this running session. I haven't even taken the plastic off this one, and it looks like there's a somewhat similar issue with the... Yep, the same truck. Now it's just this piece. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus. Yeah, so... That is easily fixable.
other than the damage to the AM fleets that I believe was caused by my mail carrier and not by the company, I think that this is a pretty good set. I mean, for the price of about $100 with everything on sale, it was really good. So I'd say this is probably one of my favorite purchases, and it's also really fun. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.